Did you go to public school, private school? I, for like the most part uh, for school, I went to public school, but like around the end there, I graduated early. Um, I was doing like an online school thing and I graduated like a year and a half early. So. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> In grade school, do you have a favorite subject? I did. I My strongest subjects were reading or English and science. I know you're really young at that point. Do you have any idea what you want to do with the rest of your life? Uh, when I was a kid? Yes. Um, when I was six, I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> but yeah, I switched between a few jobs that I wanted, like an astronaut, um, a social psychologist, uh, I think a marine biologist at one point. <laughs> you mentioned online school. Did you go to high school then or no? Mm -hmm. I went to high school for until my sophomore year and then I graduated because I did the online thing. In high school, were you the popular girl, the loner, the geek, the nerd? The... Um, I was like known as the artistic kid. I was in speech and debate. Um, I drew for my friends a lot and like my drawings were pretty popular. People were like, oh wow, can you draw me? You know, <laughs> it was cute. So um, I wasn't like the sporty popular, but like people knew me. Were you popular with the boys? Um, I was popular with my boyfriend, but like, yeah, boys were very fond of me. I just was like, I don't know. I'm, I'm like when I'm in a relationship, I like to be like with that person. So, you graduated online. Mm -hmm. After that, do you know what you're going to do with the rest of your life? Do you have any idea? Um, I did not. I really didn't. I was thinking social psychology, but for some reason, I was I was thinking in my head, I can just go back and do that anytime I want. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> so then you got the adult business. Mm hmm I live streamed for like that was a hobby of mine live streaming not camming so it was like no nudity but i would like talk to fans um i would do art shows uh i would dance sometimes so my following on there grew pretty pretty popular and then when i turned 18 they were like you should do chatterbait and i was like um if you'll pay me so <laughs> i made my premium snapchat that replaced my full-time job um like in a month and then after that, uh, I tried like professional porn. I loved it. Um, and now I'm here in LA. Five questions here. The first one, if I'm stupid, I apologize in advance. Streaming, do you do that for the attention or for the money? I, uh, the attention more so than the money. I mean, yeah, you can get paid for streaming. I just never like cashed out. I just really liked talking to fans because I, I have some interesting stories. So like whenever I'm in front of a camera or like a crowd, um, crowd of people telling a story, I don't know. It's just like where I'm the most natural, very extroverted, so it was fun to me. So you like the attention from the camera or you like people watching you on camera or both? Both, definitely both. Prior to getting in the adult industry, had you watched adult material? Yeah, I watched, I began watching porn. I was young. Wow. Like, like thinking back when I was a kid, like you don't realize when you're a child that, oh, oh, this is not normal. Like most kids weren't watching porn at the age that I was watching porn. Um, but yeah, I was pretty young when I first started. <laughs> Thought ever crossed your mind when you were watching it that I could do that? Yeah. It, yeah, it did for like at the beginning of puberty, for sure. I definitely was like, I could definitely be a porn star. <laughs> Once again, was that for the attention? Or was that the fact that it turns around people know you'd be having sex or watching you having sex? Um, I was just, I just really liked it. I just really, really like having sex. So just the fact of being able to like get paid for that, like growing up as a child, I was like, oh shit, that's really cool. Like how most people look at it, they're like, that's a badass job. You know what I mean? So that's how I... That's how I felt growing up, but now I see it more like a business, not just like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> so where you grew up then, was sex okay? Was it was, was porn okay with people? Um, so growing up in the South, it's a bit conservative, very conservative actually. <laughs> so like if you told, I don't know, anyone like 
that you watch porn, they would be like, ew. But like everyone wa was watching porn, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, your friends in school, did you ever send your boyfriend selfies and stuff? Um, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't that big in doing that. I mean, yeah, I would, like, every now and then, but it wasn't like, hey, this is me today. <laughs> no, but I mean, you'd send no booby pictures or no... Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely would send nudes. <laughs> did they ever show them their friends and tell you they didn't? Um, in middle school, for sure, for sure. <laughs> did you get a reputation because of that? Um... For a little bit, but like kids forget. It's just stupid drama. So you do custom videos. Tell me about that. Um, so my fans that uh, pay for my OnlyFans, um, they get to DM me uh, and request custom videos from me. Uh, they're pretty cheap, you know, because if you're the paying fan, then I feel like you should get like discounts on more stuff, you know, that way you come back for more. Um, so yeah, on my OnlyFans, uh, you can Google that, Fiend for the Queen dot com and join there and you can dm me and uh i do fun contests giveaways and all that fun stuff i'm very engaged you know with my fan base i like I, th I th that's like the most fun part about porn it's just like entertaining fans <laughs> do you feel that's one of the most important keys to being successful in this business um it's a huge part of it because porn is um or it has been the past like few years like transferring to like online you know people don't really buy dvds anymore so i definitely think engaging with your fan base is very important and like that residual income do you feel celebrities like yourself and yes you're a celebrity sometimes put too much information on social media yes i do um i personally don't i i mean i don't i, I think about <laughs> I'm, I'm like stuttering i'm <laughs> Try to say the right thing, because that is a touchy subject. Because um, with some people don't see porn that seriously, so they just you know spill their heart out. But I feel like personally, um, to keep your reputation, it's probably best to like not be, excuse me, too emotional on social media or like share too much. I mean, it's okay to be honest, but oversharing might be detrimental in some cases. You got these strange requests for custom videos. Yes. Can you give me a couple of examples? Um, some strange requests for custom videos. Uh, a lot of my fans like to see me with BBC, so some requests for um, like racial, uh, what is it? Just like, just terrible words that we just don't say. <laughs> Like, they request videos for that, um, there are peeing videos, there are, um, daddy dom, um, spanking videos, uh, just all kinds, like, literally peeing in a cup or peeing on somebody, um, Is just all types. Is that stuff you Is that stuff? Some I've refused, but most of it I do. Cause I, if it's too weird, like, that racial stuff, I'm just, like, really iffy on it. I'm just like, ah, that's... No, like morally, I'm not okay with that. So it's kind of hard for me to make a profit off of it. Um, so I don't like to do that. But most of the other stuff, yeah, I'm fine with doing. The stuff you shoot for OnlyFans, is this stuff you want to see or stuff you think will sell? Um, both, definitely both. Cause like if I can get off to it, then I feel like most other people can. <laughs> um, but I also take into consideration what my fans want to see. Uh, I listen to their comments, their DMs. Um, a lot of the times they like to see me do boy-girl, like interracial videos. So I don't like to do that too much. I like to balance off with um, solos, girl-girl, threesome, um, toys, you know, role-play, J-O-I, different stuff. Your OnlyFans stuff, is that more of a personal representation of yourself as opposed to maybe what you shoot for companies? Um, that's a good question. Some of it, yes, for sure. Definitely the uh, artistic stuff is more like my personal style, but like just the raw sex, you know, of course, is just like me and my personal sex life. <laughs> We're gonna jump around slightly, but how much does social media input play into when you shoot stuff for like OnlyFans? Uh, what do you mean by that? I'm a fan of Natalia. I love her boobies. 
Natalia, would you please take some booby photos on your OnlyFans? Would you consider that? Or would you just decide, well, I'm doing boobs anyway? Um, yeah, I definitely take in consideration, like, what people want to see, especially if they're already paying me. Because, <laughs> like, I feel like you should get, you know, what you're paying for. You know, I want you to feel like you got the most out of your money. Find you get different responses or fans from the different platforms. Like maybe some people from Twitter will look at stuff one way and Instagram is another. Yeah, definitely. Um, like the most like real engagement, like with my personality, like who Natalia Queen is, I get the most engagement uh, with that through Instagram. Twitter's more of, I guess like a promo, like a just like straight promotion for my sites. Um, I still talk to fans on there and stuff, but they just, they don't, they don't engage as much as they do on Instagram. Instagram's really personal. I like it. It's fun. Uh, do you feel trolls on the internet have a right to just recklessly bash people because they can hide behind a keyboard? No. Um, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I, when I see trolls on my page, I sometimes like to fuck with them. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll be like, why are you so mad, bro? Like, take a chill pill. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not like, not okay thing to do. Do you have people DMing you penis photos? I don't check my DMs. The only DMs that I check uh, for free are on my OnlyFans and my Snapchat and mini vids. <laughs> Hypothetically, I don't know you, never met you, but I heard she's pretty hot. I send you a I DM you a picture. You, you see a picture of my penis in your media. Would I ever have a chance having a relationship with you? <laughs> no, and I don't. No, I've never heard of that working in real life. You know, where like someone sends a dick pic and then that woman all of a sudden wants to like fuck you. That just doesn't happen. <laughs> Would you shoot a custom video or anything with a fan? Um. If, <laughs> I would have to like get to know that person, you know what I mean? Like maybe not like on a deep personal level, but I would have to at least like FaceTime them and get to know like a little bit about their background. But it's definitely like not off the table. It just wouldn't be like on a whim, like, yeah, I'll just fuck you. <laughs> Sex aside, for a, a dude to have the luckiest day in his life and have a date with you, a dude who's tall, short, fat, skinny, the type? Yeah. My type of guy, I, huh, I have a few types of guys. Dang, that's a hard one. I like guys that smell really good and have a really pretty smile. <laughs> I don't really care about much else. I mean, I care about personality, of course. Um, but yeah, a really nice smile and nice hair and smelling really good is good for me. Do they have to have a 20 inch penis? No, I mean, I am a size queen, but like small penises are nice too. Like all sizes of penises can be nice. Hi, I'm Natalia Queen. And if you want to find me online, you can find me on Instagram at Natalia Queen Official, Twitter at the Natalia Queen, my Snapchat, I just made a new one. Um, my public one is, I think it's Natalia Queen TV, pretty sure. Um, and if you want to find my exclusive videos, you can find me on fiendforthequeen.com. <laughs>